In this video, we're going to look at how to control a servo motor with the Raspberry Pi Pico. We're going to need a Pico on the breadboard, a servo motor, and a few wires. Use this circuit diagram to help you build the circuit. You can also verify your circuit using this wire diagram. Well, the connections are fairly easy and we first connect up the signal pin to the servo. Then we connect a ground and we then connect a VCC. The signal pin is a GPIO configured as an output. So now that we made the circuit, it's time to get down to the code. Here we will import both pin and PWM from the machine library. We'll also import U time to be able to add some delays. We first set up three constants which are in nanoseconds, indicating the min position, the max position, and the mid position of the servo. We then create a pin configured with a PWM and also set its initial frequency to 50. We also set its initial duty cycle to the mid position. Then in a while true, we set its duty cycle to the min, wait for a second, then change it to the mid, wait for a second, and then set it to the max and then wait for a second as well. That's it. It's as simple as that. When we run this, we should be able to see our servo switch between the three positions. Now you can use this in many of your projects to create many interesting things like a pan and tilt for your robot car or a camera. So do try out your experiments and share those results with us.